everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to be talking about yet another mask that I literally just got in today and I noticed one thing about the mask that the hairline's a little messed up on this uh, especially towards the back but I'll show you but for 20 bucks you really can't complain too much anyway I want to talk about this mask and what it is I've always wanted a vampire mask but most of the Dracula or the vampire masks out there uh, don't really stand out all that well unless you get into trick-or-treat studios and then again I'm not super impressed with the actual Dracula that they have there you know in themselves but anyway I seen this thing on Amazon and I said that is super fangy and cool looking <laughs> but anyway I end up getting it and it came in a little bit earlier than usual but you know that's to be expected right so this is in fact called a Bulix zombie vampire mask okay it's got a demon demon-esque uh, feel about it but at the same time it is overly powerful when it comes to uh, vampires okay it is truly evil in its own niche and nature now I tried the mask on it looks actually pretty cool if you wear something in the black garment this thing really does stand out okay so what we're going to do is we're going to actually talk about it. I don't want to take it off the head because it's a royal pain in the ass to stuff it just to get it a halfway decent looking uh, because it is a really thin latex mask, okay? Uh, the hair in itself is pretty cool because it's got little streaks of uh, silver in it which really makes it kind of stand out a little bit. But what I can do is actually lift it up off the stand and show you some of the uh, areas of the hair and the way that they did it. Uh, it's not the greatest job but you know it is what it is but anyway let me go ahead and shut this down okay and then we are going to actually pull this off of the stand straighten it up a little bit so it's not so crooked now what I'm going to do is kind of move in all right now you see all the masks in the back And I just lost my uh, screen mask. But it is what it is. But anyway, let's go ahead and give you a close-up shot of this mask. Okay, now the lighting is not doing it justice probably because I'm in the way, but hopefully it's doing okay. You can actually see the eye slits are quite visible. Visible. Visible, okay. And the teeth in themselves are a little crooked, giving them an unnatural look about them. Now this is not realistic in any way as you can clearly see the paint job on this is mediocre at best but you know it stands out really cool because it's got a very zombie feel about it. The mask in itself as you can see like I said is kind of thin but not super thin but it's um, you got to fill it out with a lot of plastic bags and stuff just in order for it to retain its shape. The nostril in itself it does have little holes in it, so it makes it easier for you to breathe out of, okay? But anyway, the hair in the sun, I see how that's just slipping off the head. All right, now, what I'm going to do is kind of shake the head a little bit. All right, now, I'm going to show you the hairline on this thing. is absolutely horrible. All right, and I just got to get a proper grip on that. All right, turn it around here so you can see it. Oh, <clears throat> hang on, sorry about the camera shaking. Just trying to get the right angle here. You can see there is some serious bald spots in the way they stitched it. They could have done a better job in that aspect. Even though it's uh, 20 bucks, you really can't super complain about it. See right here, I don't know why they did that. All right, but it is what it is. But if you lay the hair right, you don't even notice it, okay? But in the back here, there's that streak of hair. See right there, white streak, that's pretty cool, all right? But the hair is a little bald in the back. Let me see if I can find there. Okay, you gotta grab the styrofoam head and clench on it like a, like really seriously hard, okay? Let me straighten out the camera here. Let me just kind of change the camera angle so you can see it better, and I can actually handle it better. All right, so hang on for a second here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, now that's a little bit better, okay? Now you can see the ears are nice and pointy on this one side. And again, it's got the streak of hair, okay, as you can see. All right. 
Yeah. As you can see from here, from this point of view, like I said, you can cover it up. It just looks really good that way. But when you notice it, when you kind of pull it apart, all right, let me just kind of, it's really bald in the back here. And you see what I'm saying? Okay. And you see the way they stitched it right there, and they just kind of half-assed it. But anyway, can't really super complain about a mask that's only 20 bucks, right? All right, so now I'm going to pull this out of the way and show you the other stitching part of this mask. And now you see right here? Right there. It's kind of hard to get the angles here on this camera. All right, see? It's kind of bald, so like you see right here? That's how they stitched it, okay? All right. Okay, let me pull the camera back down even further. But anyway, that's the stitching job. Now here's the ear. This one's kind of bent. But the mask in itself looks really cool sitting on my shelf with my other masks. And I did stuff it exceptionally because I had to put a, lot, a bunch of bags into it in order to make it look halfway decent. But anyway, this is my Bulix Zombie Vampire Mask. Okay, I'm going to pull that all the way back so you can actually see what it looks like. There we go. It's kind of awkward, you know what I'm saying? Next time I'm just going to leave it stand on it, sitting on the table and let you look at it, okay? Alright. Well, that's it on this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos and I hope you enjoyed this. It's not a super expensive looking mask, but it is cool looking only because of its evil nature to it. It's very, uh, like I said, zombie-like, an evil-looking vampire. And he does have a lot of sharp teeth. All right. Well, you guys have yourselves a very good night. Okay? All right. We'll see you at the next video.